Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is Blank Slate, the game where blank minds think alike. It's by USAopoly, ages 8 plus, 3 8 players, 20 to 35 minutes to play the game. In the game Blank Slate, it's pretty simple as how it goes. You're going to be taking a blank slate, you're going to be getting an erasable marker that's going to have its little eraser on the top, and you can go ahead and use it to write things down on this. You're going to get the rules and the box, and you're going to basically be drawing a card. This one we see will say blank done. Everybody's going to write down the word they think would fill in the blank, such as, I don't know, <laughs> uh, well done. So maybe the word well would be written here and everybody else would write down whatever they think. And then you're going to reveal. When you reveal the cards, if one person matched you, you're going to get three points with that player. If more than one person matched you, everybody that did was going to get one point. And if no one matched you, you're going to get nothing. You're going to be using this little tracker here to determine who gets what and when. And the person who gets to 25 first is the winner. The cards come with both a front and a back side. So paper boy or so cool. I don't know. And you can actually use either side. doesn't matter. It's up to you guys. But there are a couple rules as to how you're going to be doing it. Let's go ahead and take a look at the components and uh, you play a little bit. Here's Blank Slate and everything you're going to get in it. You're going to get the rules, the box, a ton of cards. You're going to get this little blank shaped scoreboard here, blank slate scoreboard here, as well as uh, the ability to write down names like Bill, Billy, Bob, Bobby, Robert, Rick, Roy, and of course, Marth. You're also going to get these blank slates. Comes with eight of them for up to eight players. And you're also going to get eight of those dry erase markers. Every player is going to get a marker and they're going to get a slate. And then you're going to have somebody draw a card. They're going to pick one of the sides at random. And then everybody is going to fill in the blank secretly on their blank slate. So for instance, if I had jam here, it's blank and jam. Everybody's going to go ahead and write down a word. Maybe I would write down the word toe. Let's see if I can do this. Eh, close enough. And everybody else is going to do the same thing, right? Or raspberry or strawberry jam. And then they're going to reveal. For every person you match with, after the first one, you're going to get one point along with them. So let's say that this was, and you can look at the color too, this is going to be uh, brown over here. So if, if Roy and Rick also marked with him, they all get one point. If Bob and Billy both did strawberry, they would get three points. And if Bill, Bobby, and Robert did none of, they all didn't do the same thing as them as anybody else, they all get no points. And then, of course, the card is going to pass to the next person. You're going to simply get it, have them draw a card, pick one of the sides, cheese blank. And I would put down something like cheese and puff. And everybody else would do the same thing. And once again, let's say that me and Billy marked the same thing. We would both get three points. If uh, Roy got the same thing with, I don't know, Robert and Bobby, then they would all get one point. Oh, that's right there, one point. And then if anybody else didn't match, they would get nothing. And your obvious objective is to get to the very end of the board, get to that 25 marker there, and utilizing the different things here. The couple of rules involved in the game is pretty, it's pretty simple, but there is some different things as to what you can do and you can't do. For instance, you can do seaweed, but you can't do sea T, seat. <laughs> you can do tress and pass, so trespass, and you can do daylight or day space trip. Superman's okay, and Mickey slash mouse is okay as well. You can do any, any of the different proper nouns and whatnot. And that's the basic idea of the game. Blank slate, let's come up and talk about it, as well as maybe do a round with Grant. So we're going to go begin the game. We're going to do a little preview with my cameraman Grant here, and it's an audience participation moment in our videos. So get ready and go ahead and use your thinking caps because we're all going to play together. Uh, golden blank. Golden blank. Go ahead and write down that blank in your mind, and we're going to write down something as well, and we'll see who does well, okay? We'll see who matches. I got my word. Grant, you got yours? All right, here we go. I said golden egg. What'd you say? Golden cloud. Golden cloud. So that's not a match for us. So we both wouldn't get three points. But if you match with either one of us, then we would score. If none of us matched, well, no good. We'll go ahead and use the next one. Blank order. Uh, hmm. All right, I got one. Blank order. Disorder? Food order. Food order. Okay. We're not doing very well here, Grant. We're not, we're not matching. Cold blank. Cold blank. Storage? Cold storage? Weather. Cold weather. Oh no. Oh no. We'll do one more. Ready? Audience participation. Blank drop. Blank drop. If you don't get this with me, we're in trouble. Raindrop? Safe drop. 
Oh, wow. So hopefully the audience was able to get any of that. If you did actually match with either of us, go ahead and write down in the comment section below which one you matched. I'm just curious to see if anybody matched with us. Uh, but I think you guys got the idea for Blank Slate. So what do I think about this game? Well, it's fun. I and mean, if you had a little fun, a fun playing with us just like that, think about how much more, more, how much more fun you'd have with eight or seven additional players, including yourself. It's a simple game. The mechanics have been used before in certain degrees as far as like cards against humanity and whatnot in those judging style games. But this one brings a little bit more of a high mind twist to it. It also lets you write down your own answers by filling in the blanks, which is fun and super, super simple. Really easy to teach, really easy to play. USAopoly did a great job in this game of the three games they sent me. This is probably one of my favorite, it probably was my favorite game, just because of how easy it is to teach new players. It's an easy get you into a game, into, into modern gaming style game, and it's great for parties. You can pretty much do it wherever, whenever you want. Um, so overall, Excellent game. Blank Slate. A lot of fun. I'll be playing this continually throughout the rest of my life, I'm sure, until the point where these little Blank Slates are no longer going to be useful. But it'll be a while because all the component qualities here is really, really nice. It's really nice quality. The boards are really nice and thick. The cards are nice. And they have front and backs, which is super cool as well. Uh, overall, everything, even the even the covers, you probably can see, has got like the uh, nice finish on top of it. So it's shiny and pretty and explains everything you need for the game. Overall, though, Blank Slate's fun. Go ahead and check it out. Description below. USAopoly. Ah!